All right, so here we go. All this junk. Well, not junk to me, but I guess junk to some. But this is all the stuff that I'm keeping blacksmithing wise. But it can't stay here because they need to be able to take pictures of the house. And as of the time that you're seeing this, it's already on the market. So, yeah. I need to get it ready, that way they can do aerial pictures and pictures of the yard and all that. So we're moving it all into the shop. But I know you guys don't want to watch that. So by the power of editing, here we go. And there we go. We have all cleaned up, moved our patio set over to the, to the concrete slab and just give it a little bit better appearance. Uh, the fold up chairs we'll probably put away but we also got the trees uh, moved over and uh, yeah, it just, it's looking a little cleaner, but that's not the only thing we're doing this weekend. I'm actually going to be working on the trailer. So let's head on over there now and I'm gonna go show you what we're gonna do with the trailer. All right, welcome back to the trailer. So here's some of the new lights I'm going to be installing. I'll be taking the good old duct tape off and uh, these do require light bulbs uh, eventually I will get some of the LEDs because these are actually LED lights um, but I like the, more of this style of light uh, I do still need to get the center light uh, here the clearance light you can kind of see up in there that's where the old one was it does not work so yeah and then I got the plate off, which I don't think I want to put the plate back here. I, I would like to have it underneath the light here because uh, this light does have the clear lens for that. But we'll see. And then up here, these lights I'm leaving because those are also reflectors. But I have in here junction box to replace this guy. And then I have a new harness, wire harness, because I don't necessarily need this uh, seven pin. I, I can just do the four pin, because the back of the truck has both. And yeah, so yeah, this trailer does have electronic brakes, and that's actually what this is for here. It's a breakaway switch, which is coming over here connecting to here so and it, it's going to go through into the, your seven pin so i'm going to have to leave the seven pin because i don't have because you can get these uh, harnesses here that have a five pin that will also include the, the blue wire uh, to be able to still have electronic brakes but i did not get that so i'll just utilize the wire to go from the new junction box back to the lights all right, so let's get to work.
All right, so that's what one light will look like installed. Not too shabby, looks pretty good. As you can see that those bolts, that you're able to move them around. So I can show you on this one here. So there's three different spots, right? So you can move it. So how that was now, basically it, it has the light sticking way out like that. So you move that bolt over and then you can move it in. So works pretty cool. I like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the other one installed and then we'll start running the uh, wires. All right, before we get started on the wiring, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. We'll take this up to the front. Put this up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a foot on that, which you can see sit, sitting uh, right back there before I do any of the wiring. So before I run the wires down the whole length of the trailer underneath, um, I do wanna get some of this up here uh, squared away. So let's go ahead and work on the foot. We'll get the box uh, replaced. This needs to be secured. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to continue to use that uh, winch. I might, um, but the remote for it is right there. And it got soaking wet because it was down in the bottom of the battery box. That was full of water. So yeah, <laughs> that's okay. So let's go ahead and get this uh, lowered down onto the jack stand that way I can get that off the block because that's still on there and that's really heavy so I can't pick this up by hand so I'm gonna raise my jack stand up and then lower the trailer down to the jack stand allowing the foot to come off allowing me to put the bottom on there all right you'll see All right, so with enough finagling and a pair of scissors, I was able to get that out. So those of you that know, or if you have that specialty tool that goes around that, that cuts that thing off, there's a knife that you can go and it'll, it'll cut those off. I don't have one. So I gotta use regular old scissors or pocket knife, which I don't, I didn't have on me. But there we go. Got the, uh, the landing plate out of the package. So let's go ahead and get put it on the trailer. Easy as that. So go ahead and pin it. And now, whenever we're going to our new property that's more likely going to have a bunch of dirt and not concrete, we're not going to be loading this up full of mud. Thank you. 
and deal with this another day. I don't know how well you can see in here. Let's see if I can get you a little closer. There we go. Yeah, nice little jumbled mess. So, let me even probably bring you down here. Might be able to get a better view. Let me see. Maybe. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and cut all that out. And, uh, Try to leave as much of this wire as I can. All right, so there we go. Got the box out. Some of these other wires. You're probably like, Anson, how do you know what all these wires go to? Well, yeah, this is what I'm actually doing for a living right now, is uh, working on trailers and boats. And yeah, so I know. <laughs> all right, y'all, so I actually think I'm going to end this one here. So this will be a multi-part series uh, of getting this trailer ready. Mama just called me for dinner, so it is hot. I'm sweating. Woo, yeah. Go Ridge Life. <laughs> but I uh, definitely appreciate you guys for following our journey and just woo, keeping us afloat. And uh, yeah, we still need a lot of watch hours. So if you're watching to this portion of the video, please give us that thumbs up. Share it out to your friends. Click all the links down in the description. It definitely helps us out. It helps the algorithm. It gives us all that stuff that we really need. And we're less than a thousand hours out of the 4,000. So we really need your help with that. But definitely appreciate you guys. And think of it every chance you get. And we'll see you on the next one. Later, y'all.